Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV with a special update on the tropical cyclones around the South Pacific and also around Australia. We've got three of them at the moment. Tropical Cyclone Ray, which is clearing away from Fiji. We've got Tropical Cyclone Alfred, which is going to grow over the Coral Sea in the days ahead. And Tropical Cyclone Bianca, which is west of Western Australia and doesn't look as though it's posing any threat to land. So we've also got another low in the middle here around Vanuatu. This might turn into a tropical cyclone in the next day or so. It looks short-lived and hopefully remains out at sea. But to be honest with you, the main feature on this map is the massive belt of high pressure. That is going to control where these lows go and as they try and drop southwards they run into this big southeasterly and that can make those uh, tropical cyclones start to fall apart. So there are a few moving parts to all of this. This is the current placement as we recorded the video so um, it was unfortunate to see that while Ray moved over the Fiji Islands out to the east there it was category two and we've heard reports of damage, damage to crops as you would expect from a storm that strong. The good news today is it is moving away from Fiji and it is likely to miss Tonga so that is also some good news. Falls apart out at sea by the looks of it and the big high pressure bout around New Zealand should keep that offshore from the New Zealand area. Cyclone Alfred out there in the Coral Sea, expected to get up to category three in the days ahead, but you'll notice it weakens back to two. Now look, the longer range forecasting with this is not locked in, but what it is seeing is as it goes southwards, it runs into wind shear, it runs into this high pressure belt, which kind of smothers that low pressure system. And so it starts to weaken. It's a little bit like trying to dig a hole in the dry white sand and the sand keeps falling in on top of it. That's kind of what you get when these lows try to push down into high pressure. And finally, Bianca, well offshore from Western Australia, doesn't pose a threat. So let's break that down a little more. Here is Cyclone Ray's placement today, clearing away from the Fiji Islands, and that is the good news. So by about the middle of today, it is mostly offshore. Obviously with a storm as big as this, strong uh, dangerous waves and swells pushing back out. So Tonga could still be affected by that, the uh, dangerous seas. But as far as wind and rain is concerned, hopefully not too much of a problem for Tonga and also improving around Fiji. We've got another low over here near Vanuatu worth keeping an eye on as we go into Wednesday, Ray drops away from these populated areas, so it leaves Tonga, it leaves Fiji. Now we're tracking this other low that's potentially a tropical cyclone as it departs Vanuatu, but the good news is, again, likely to track southeastwards away from land. So hopefully not seeing too much more in the way of uh, problematic weather from either of those two lows, but the one near Vanuatu obviously needs to uh, be monitored. As we go over to the Coral Sea, here is Cyclone Alfred, Category 2 when we recorded this. It may well be up to Category 3 pretty soon. It's likely to remain at that severe Cat 3 uh, status offshore, well away from uh, land, from Australia and from Vanuatu and New Caledonia. So this is an offshore storm perfect breeding ground for it to get larger. So let's have a look at the seven day tracking and quite a quick animation, but you'll see it dropping southwards and then it kind of stops and then, then it weakens as it moves in towards Australia. So that is the possible tracking this week. It looks stormy at sea and as it moves southwards, it runs into high pressure. Now, if it runs too far into that high pressure, it will fall apart like you're seeing right there. Could still be a rain event as it moves in. If, however, it curves a little earlier and comes in a bit sooner, it could retain cyclone status as it makes uh, landfall or moves closer towards the Queensland coast. So Alfred's future is still not yet locked in. Anyone along the Queensland coastline needs to pay close attention to it. And finally, we got Bianca. Uh, really, nothing to see there. <laughs> it falls apart very, very quickly offshore. Massive high pressure zone just south of it. So Bianca poses no threat to the western side of Australia. And there we go, that is the setup as we track all the severe weather around uh, the South Pacific and around Australia. Thank you for joining us. I'll be back again tomorrow, Wednesday, as we monitor what is happening with these cyclones. We'll see you then.